Hello, I'm Ryan Mitch, and welcome to Marvel Heroes. I've got Doctor Strange at the minute. Uh, he was released on Friday, and over the weekend there's been a bunch of buffs on. Uh, XP buffs. Uh, there was uh, the developers were in and playing the game, and it was all in good fun. We got loot chests and stuff. Um, but I'm really here to talk about the build that I've made for Doctor Strange, uh, and I think it's pretty effective. Um, I'll I'll, I'll, pr I'll run through the other powers and why I think they're probably not quite useful for the build that I'm using. So let's go right into it. So usually my hands would be on ASD and F, but um, my hands on this build in particular are usually on SD, F and G. I use all of the powers, which I don't normally do, uh, with my Iron Man for example, which uh, only uses a certain number of powers, but because of how Strange works, you really need to use a variety of spells to use. So let's go into the power tree. So, as you can see, we've obviously got the, st the st Starting powers have already got one point into them. I've actually got a point in this, which I don't use anymore, so I'm probably going to use a, a retcon device at some point to get that point out of there. But really, I'll just run through each of the powers. I've got this basic uh, on the left click, even though I don't normally use the left click. So that's that one. But I don't actually use this power, it's just there because I didn't want an empty space. And it's, u it's useful sometimes. Uh, this is the primary power here. The Daggers of Davroth. Now the reason I use this is because it has the, the homing targeting missile thing. Basically it will go towards enemies. Which is really useful. It will go around corners as well. So you don't even need to aim, you could just, act, well exactly what I do, I just spam the hell out of it, It's it's I'm always holding in the right click. Now, the reason I put it on right click instead of left click is because of the homing, if I was to put it on to left click I actually do need to click on uh, an enemy to use it, so I'll swap them over just now. And I actually do have to use it, otherwise the left click is bound to move in. So it's best to put that power specifically on right click or any of the other power buttons, but I like to use right click. So we've got the Mystic Shift on A. Uh, I usually move my hand over to use this. And this is really handy for just um, moving about actually. So let's put this to good use. I'll use this. That'll target enemies and if they get too close you could just use the Mystic Shift to move around and he will continue to fire as long as I hold in right click. Which is super useful because the damage will just continue to pop up as I travel around. So that's that pretty much out of the way. Now the reason I have my hands on S, D, F and G uh, along here is because these are the four incantation powers that I use and this is basically, I'll show the stats for what they do uh, what have we got here? We've got this one, the Seal of Ashanti uh, so really that just increases damage rating and defence rating for all of the allies that are within the circle so the reason I have this on S is because this power is meant to be placed where the allies are and I really wanted to differentiate between that and the other three powers which I'll get to so I'd, I would put that below me while firing and I'll try and stay within the circle when moving around because I don't want to lose the buff it's always good to keep the buff going Second one here, the Vapors of Valtor. This one's really powerful. Uh, basically, it creates a cloud and lightning shines down upon people, kills them off. Uh, I've got the Icy Tendrils here, which slows enemies and does a, a good amount of damage. It's just a one-shot damage. 
it is an area power, so it will take out multiple enemies at one time. Uh, the same with the, the Vapors of Valtor. And finally, on G, this is the one that I would usually use first, because it actually, as it says, it's the sudden influx of power causes enemies nearby to be drawn into the vortex. So really, if we had enemies, these are obviously training dummies, so we can't actually test that out. I would use G. That would draw them in. Use F to slow them all down. And then D to start the, the big, big damage numbers going. Uh, and it's it's really cool. And you see, as I've done these powers, this, pur this purple bar has filled up. So, the e it's each incantation power, so there is many other incantation powers. There's, um, this one is the Crimson Bands of Sectorak, uh, Seven Sons of Cinnabis. Uh, I think, yeah, Demons of Dinak is an incantation. I'm pretty sure these are as well. Yep. These are shields. These are good for supportive roles. Uh, I think that's all of the incant... Oh, no, this one is as well. This is the... This is when you create the duplicates of Doctor Strange, and it and it really messes up with their heads. So, why do I want to use so many incantations? The more incantations I use, the quicker this purple bar fills up. Basically, the mystic energy reaches maximum, and your next incantation power costs no spirit and reduces the cooldowns of all incantations. So really, it's, it reduces the cooldown by 15 seconds. Uh, that has a cooldown of 25, but I'm pretty sure that has the longest cooldown of all the incantations. So really, you're reducing that to 10 seconds if it's at, if you've just used it. Uh, all of the other ones, that's 12 seconds, 6 seconds, and 4 seconds. So really, you have three definite powers once the purple bar is filled up. So let's do it. Let's use this one and then this one. And you can see they're use they're useful again. And if I do this, it's filled up to four again already. And you just need to wait for this one to respawn. And then the ice, and then that's it back. So really you're not wasting any time at all. Um oh, look at all these bloody drones. It must be one of the items I have on, I think. Um, but, yeah, you're not wasting any time. It, the more incantations you have, the quicker you will be able to use your powers again. So, really, that's why I wanted to use so many incantations, because I really wanted to make use of um, the, the, the mystic power bar, basically. Last but not least, the final power is all-seeing eye. Let darkness fade. This is separate from the, the four main incantation powers. I just use this ex just when it's ready, when I can get a chance to use it. It does a lot of damage. There's no need to aim, so if I was using this in an actual situation... Oh, the cooldown's gone. But basically, I would do... Seal. Those three continue to fire with right click. And then I would transport within the circle with A. And I've found this to be really useful. It's it's a good way of getting out of situations because um, he doesn't have huge survivability, I've noticed. He's a little bit squishy, but it's all fine because the powers get rid of it. And bump. I could just do that. I could just run away out of there. So let's take a look at the passive powers here. I have... I only have one in this because I really wanted to just see the enemies on the mini-map. And otherwise, it gives spirit, which is which is good. Um, but I've never had a problem with Doctor Strange losing spirit. I'll try and use it, try and use all the powers at one time. I've got the H back. So I would do... S, H, G, F, and D. And I would continue to push these. And as you can see, there's 
really no spirit being used. Right click doesn't use spirit because it's a basic power as well. So, I mean, he barely loses any spirit. He would lose spirit if he was using more of astral powers because that's an ongoing spirit cost of two for each um, each duplicate that you summon uses a, an ongoing spirit cost of two so that really would mess up the spirit powers and the amount of spirit that is being made now there is an option here there's a heal there's just an incantation it regenerates 700 health and it negates damage but I prefer to use this just because defense rating does negate the damage as well plus it gives a, dam a damage rating as well which is which I think is, is better overall this would be good for a supporting role but I would use this this I would, I, well, I would use both of these in a, in a kind of supportive position there's also this if you if you want heals uh, it regenerates 140 health per hit which is it's like a, a demon that pops out and attacks enemies and you know that's that's not bad that's not bad health wise but I've got a way of working around the health which it really requires a pretty special drop so I've got the Edolon war Warware even and that um, brings 13,554 health every minute and it's only a level 44, I still need to upgrade that to a 60. Uh, it also adds 1200 defense, which is really good. The move speed, that's pretty useful as well, I think. Uh, more health. Um, and that's where all the drones are coming from, apparently. There's a 6% chance to get a little drone to follow you for 30 seconds. Uh, a damage rating with range power, which, again, yeah, definitely for Doctor Strange. And 100 tenacity, which is also good for Doctor Strange. I have this. This dropped for me while it was playing, when I, while I was leveling Doctor Strange. It has um, a nice damage rating. Uh, it adds to spirit, which uh, is not bad. 1 to energy, and this is really why I used it. It has plus 1065 damage rating on mental attacks. And all of Doctor Strange's uh, moves are mental. They'll cause mental damage. Uh, this one. Oh, that's because it's not a power, a mental, yep. Yeah, they're all mental damage, so that that's really why I used that in particular. I saw it and saw mental damage and just went, I need to use this. Also, there's plus 253 brutal strike rating and plus 922 brutal strike damage rating. Now, I really want to make a build with Strange that will utilise brutal strike. So if we go into the stats here, we've got the critical rating to 22.5% chance, and the br brutal strike, uh, it's a 9.9% .9 chance of the 22% chance of the crits. So it's roughly about 10% chance of the crits, so it's about 2, 2.5-ish percent chance to do a brutal strike which is still quite low but I'm saving up for a legendary item I'm, I'm getting there just about 50 52 to go and I want to make that um, a really focused on brutal and critical because even if you do increase the critical rating it still increases the chance of the brutal strike rating happen because it's going to be 10% instead of the 22.5. It could be 9% of, say, 50%. So it's really, really useful just to keep an eye on that. You don't have to go Brutal Strike. You could do Critical, and it will increase the chance of Brutal Strike as well. These are the robes that dropped. They are uh, Doctor Strange, Uniques. I just put them on. They were, they were already here. Uh, th these goddamn amulets don't drop very often. I've got this ring as well, which increases Brutal Strike and Critical Damage Rating. I'm going to be putting that on. Actually, I could do it now. Da -da. I had it in my inventory waiting for that to happen. <laughs> Let's see what that did. So we've got 1061. Does this ring have Critical? 
yeah, it reduced from the critical rating, but the damage went right up. That's, I think the damage is probably, yeah, I, I'm definitely happy with the damage going up. The critical rating will go up again with the legendary item. So, really, the last thing I want to do now is go in and show them working. Let's see if we can actually see if I can actually show you exactly how to do this. So probably die completely. So I've got my hands. So I'll I'll probably put a little pointer up where my fingers are, but they are on S, D, F, and G. Uh, and when I'm in here, I'll just move my finger across and use A to teleport around. So I use S. Use this use the other three and get H so we can get the eye out. We'll move away from here. Just keep using the three powers. Use this one on me so I've got Seal of Ashanti should always be near you or near allies if you want. Uh, it's always good that if, if allies are like in a crowd control position where they're just surrounded by enemies all over the place. Best thing to do it's probably helped them out, drop a seal of a shanty next to them and put all the damage area of effects in as well just because you know if the enemies are there they're gonna get whacked as well oh splinter, look at that, fancy that as you can see we've got this still going if we do this, there we go, cooldown is gone That's that costs no spirit as well although it doesn't really matter now Strange obviously is still squishy even though I've got all of that health regeneration and of course I'll show you my, the ultimate power. Oh crap! <laughs> I don't remember Rhino like whacking up that high. So this is insane. It creates a ring and um, the damage rating of this thing is insane. If you get them inside the ring they take damage. I think it also increases the damage of um, your attacks, so let's just keep using this, get the eye, get the cloud, get the icy tendrils out. And as you can see, I was hitting, f I think I hit a 200k brutal strike, which is pretty big, it's pretty insane. There's 157. Let's put the seal of Ashanti back out. Oh crap. And I, w I was rhinoed. Who knew? Who, who thought I would be rhinoed? I don't know. Okay, this has been Doctor Strange. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you do, like and subscribe. I'll probably do more of these Marvel Heroes videos. I've been playing this game way too much. Uh, I've been. Uh, I had a few months off, and I, I came back, and I've been playing ever since. But um, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.